there are three major aspects that makes me a good artist. Number one, I have practice. This one's pretty basic. Everybody's gonna freaking tell you that. That one comes with time. You just have to do it. Me having a style has only happened because I just stuck to it and I did it. Number two, developing your eye. But you need to develop a taste for what is it that you actually like. Because me, <laughs> I get influenced by everything and anything and all of it in between. And I get really indecisive. But point is, I still have a taste. I still have a preference. I, I know what I like in a drawing when I see it in someone else. And being able to recognize that in someone else means you'll be able to recognize it in your own work as well. So taste is number two. Number three is confidence. And this one I learned because of that Linda Berry book that I've shared in my pinned. It's called Making Comics and to gain confidence, I'm gonna demonstrate an exercise for you guys. This exercise is called Blind Bones and it's about taking a leap of faith and trusting your inner self. You're struggling with something for five months and it's sitting in your drafts and you're like, <laughs> then do this exercise with me and you will be cured. I've done this many times with a skeleton, so I'm not gonna do a skeleton. I'm going to do like a farmer tractor. Close your eyes and for one minute, draw your subject in yellow marker. Grab the red marker and for another minute, draw your subject again. Finally, do it in blue. First time you do this exercise, you might absolutely hate what you make. I was very underwhelmed by what I, I made. Linda Berry has a little bit of wisdom on this. She says, you don't have to like the way that your liver looks in order for it to work. My drawing looks like a tractor. Someone would be able to look at it and know what it is. And I've realized that I find that more important in my drawings than something looking realistic, but rather than my message is coming across. And I think a lot of character designers and professionals in cartoons and comics and movies would agree to that, that the message is more important than the actual delivery itself. But those are my three keys to success, practice, taste and confidence. So I hope you feel inspired to make some art.